What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Crown of Bones by A.K. Wilder. I've been on hold for this for a very long time. I probably put it on hold right when it became available at my library so I've been like pretty like kind of hyped for this book like really wanting to read it and I gotta say I was pretty disappointed. Crown of Bones is very heavy on the world building and the magic system. We take place in a land full of lots of different countries, but they are all unified in savants. And these are people who can project a phantom, which is basically kind of like a Patronus type of thing, or it's like their demon or like however you want to describe it. But there are lots of different ranks within this. Everybody gets sent to this island called a coup where you train to like master your savant. You like go up in your robe rank and like all that kind of stuff. And our story is is centered on a boy named Marcus who is the heir to the throne of Basine. He's going to a coup to train as an initiate to become a better savant and he's taking his best friend Ash who is a non-savant to record the journey. Now I was excited by this premise. It seemed pretty interesting. I was excited about their dynamic and it is told primarily from their perspectives but the problem is is that this book is very much action heavy exposition heavy but I wouldn't say that it's like plot driven or character driven which is kind of weird because like normally it's like one or the other but like lots of things were happening there were lots of action sequences there's a new character introduced named Kaylin who he kind of gets like a big point of view kind of thrown in there as well but I never felt like I connected with Marcus or Ash I would say if there's a main character it's probably Ash but the way she was written just felt kind of weird and I could never like like really connect with her. As you can tell, like that made this book kind of hard to get through and it's a long book. It's like 17 hours and I had to speed it up quite a bit to get through it because I was just really bored. I didn't know where we were going. I didn't know what we were doing. I think the way that information is given to us was done a little bit weird. There's a point of view with a character who doesn't come back until like at the end of the book and I was like, why was that here? I don't understand. And then I listened to the audiobook and unfortunately the narrators weren't that great either so when it would switch like perspectives between Kaylin and Marcus sometimes I couldn't tell whose perspective we were in because the voice didn't change but also the way things were being talked about weren't different enough to me to be like oh we're clearly from Kaylin's perspective or oh we're clearly from Marcus's perspective. I don't really know why there needed to be a shift at all because even with Ash's perspective things felt pretty samey to me. Towards the end of the book I think it did pick up. I do like kind of this overall plot that is brutal Doing, but unfortunately I don't care enough about the world or the characters to continue on with the series so I'm probably not gonna read any more of it I would like to learn more about Ash but unfortunately I also don't like the love story that she's being put into I don't really like her relationship with the other characters so I'm just not really interested in finding out more if the second one comes out and I hear that it's better maybe I'll check it out but as of right now I, it just really wasn't what I was expecting. I am giving it a C minus because I don't think it was bad. I think I just personally don't like the way it was written. I don't like the type of romance that it's given. I don't think there was enough like drama, I guess for me, I'm not really sure what it is, but I do recognize that it is a good book. I do think that if you are more a fan of like that action adventure type of feel, if you're more of a fan of like those heavy magic systems, like that kind of thing, you probably will like the story. Just just for me, it fell a little bit flat. So I'm giving it a C minus. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it was a bad read. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.